Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Going to be working on the spoke shave again today. I have this blade that I've got ground roughly to shape. Now I need to finish grind. Hit it with the 80 grit first. That quickly takes the surface and flattens it right out. Fortunately, since this is a new piece of steel and came out of a saw blade, it's in pretty good shape to start with. The 80 grit takes it right down. little brad all that came in a box of junk. Uh, somebody made it up years and years ago and until today I'd never used it but it really works quite well. All it is is a little handle with a square pin in it and you kind of auger it down in and it punches right through that fine like nothing. I think these two little sheet metal screws will provide enough bite that I can hold on to it. And give me a handle for flattening out that back. That worked. I went with your suggestion on the flattening board and I poked a hole through the back so I can just stick my finger up through it. Works a lot better. Now we'll flip it over and go with the 120 and 150. With the rough work done, I can go after it with the finer grits.
Robertson screws are nice. They do require a special screwdriver though. I'll use this coarse oval stone to finish up the shape on the blade. This is just a quick and dirty little fixture, but I think it's going to be handy enough. I'll just put it in the drawer along with the sharpening stones. I got a mirror polished up on that front edge. I don't have it on the back, but I'm not concerned with the back. Okay, we'll slip the blade in there. Put the clamp on top. Snug that down just a little bit so I can get the blade set. Now we're starting to get a shaving. Well, I can see how this would be handy. It's a lot easier to get that thing to start cutting if I round off the edge roughly first. Never having used one of these before, I have a feeling that this is just meant to do final work. Because it does a nice job once I have the shape 
semi-established, but I'm trying to cut too much of a chip. The straight side hogs right in. But the curved side, it's more delicate. Taking a chip the full width of the board. I think I'm a little thin on this side and thicker on that side. That's a lot more even. So I think with some practice, with me and this tool, I can get it to cut. Better and better. And this broken blade can sit in the basket. Now the next one to come through the process is this one, the number 151. But it's going to take a lot more work than this little guy. Now, I hope I don't have to make a blade for it. I still have some learning to do with this one. Not that comfortable with a spoke shave, and I think I can address some of those issues with muscle memory. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know, I read them all. Thanks for watching.